So here we have a charging setup for RC LiPo batteries. I'm basically going to show you how to parallel charge your battery packs and the components to look for. So here is a JST wire. All these are plugged in parallel. And basically we have um, four, four S JST plugs. There are four pins and then one pin is uh, the ground pin. So you pretty much have um, five pins in general for a 4S, four pins for a 3S, and etc. So this wire you can get from Hobby Stores, Hobby King, or you can get it from eBay. So this one here is a six parallel cable for JST connectors for 4S LiPo packs. And here we have a parallel board, which is pretty much the same thing as this, except for the fact that all these JST, JST plugs are soldered onto this board. But the benefit of this board is also you have um, 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S uh, JST plugs. Plus you have six of the charging plugs for your battery packs. And this one is for XT90 plugs. Um, they also have these for all the other plugs that are typical for RC cars. So you don't just have to get it in XT90. The downfall to a board like this is the fact that you are limited to how you can connect packs. Ideally, the best way to use this is if all packs are separate. And I'll show you what I mean with that in a bit. The end of it is going to have a 6S connector because the max you can have here for the JST plug is 6S. Then you have your charging wires here. These are uh, four, uh, four millimeter ends. So we also have this here, which is basically for four millimeter HXT, HXT I believe, um, parallel wires. These are typical for most Hobby King packs or more R, uh, most RC packs. I actually kind of like these. These are very simple to remove and put back on. Um, and they fit actually pretty snug. You can see the pins in here. And this is basically allows you to parallel charge six battery packs at once. And it really doesn't matter what... Um, what series of battery that you use for these as these are more universal. Uh, these are specific and depending on the size of the battery it will have one or more or one or one, one or less uh, pins. And my favorite charger that's actually decently affordable is this iCharger 208B. You get this at Hobby King. It is about $130 or so um, not including shipping but this charger charges at 20 amps in total. So 20 amps, I can charge my 15, 16 amps uh, for six packs of 3S 5000 um, amp hour pack or five amp hour packs. And that is probably about 20 to 40 minutes, depending. So this is the iCharger 208B. I wouldn't recommend anything else. The other chargers are not as great and they charge um, two, three times as long, which in my opinion isn't worth it. And here we have a 350 watt power supply, which is probably the cheapest power supply you could get that's still somewhat um, powerful. Um, the next one up is a 500 watt. The 500 watt is also worth it. It's about $20 more, but if you don't want to spend the 20 extra dollars, this 350 watt power supply works great. Um, I'm going to show you how to parallel charge my packs. Um, these packs here that I'm parallel charging today are 3S 5000 milliamp hour packs. Um, these packs are Zippy Flight Max 3S 20C. Um, I tie my packs to make it easier. I also have Velcro behind it. So to parallel charge these, I'm going to put my ends here. 
you have your discharge wires for your battery, which you're going to plug into the parallel parallel cables. Um, other two here, your JST plugs. And the way I do this is I simply plug in my 350 watt power supply last and I'll plug this in to here red black we'll go ahead and plug this in here and if you turn it on let's see if this is on there we go so here you can see it's on so I don't have anything connected to it yet I'm going to show you exactly how I would connect it. I'm going to turn this off first, turn off the main power, and I'm going to take my six parallel cables here for the four millimeter connectors, plug it in. The first thing I'm going to do is plug this in, take my parallel balance wires, plug this in. This is 4S, so I'm going to plug it into the 4S slot. This is a little board. Basically this board is uh, just an adapter. This LiPo charger allows up to eight, eight cells. So I basically use this little thing to bring it down from 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, 7S, and 8S. And basically this allows me to be able to plug it into here even though this is an 8S. So pretty much the only thing I could plug into this cable here is an 8S JST plug. So we'll go ahead and put that aside. And the first thing you want to do when you're charging in parallel is I like to plug my discharge wires first. So make sure you get the polarity right. Always double, triple check. So I'm going to put this one in first, put this one in second. and put the other ones in. And usually by the time you plug everything in, wait five, 10, 15 seconds, um, everything's gonna balance charge themselves. When you charge in parallel, it pretty much does it automatically. This is one of the reasons why I like to charge in parallel. And now I'm gonna connect all the balance cables this is four. This is actually 4S, so I actually need to switch this and put on my 3S parallel cables. 3S. Now I'm going to plug this one in. So one thing you want to be certain of when you're charging or even using RC LiPo packs or any battery pack for that matter is you don't want to short your pack on accident. So shorting your pack is basically crossing the positive and negative current into each other, which would basically instantly cause a fire and spark. So you want to prevent that from ever happening. So I like to double, triple check all my connections, make sure I'm not plugging um, different ports into the wrong places. So we went ahead and uh, plugged your charger to your power pack turn your power pack on make sure this side was all disconnected and make sure this is on turn this off so that way nothing's no power is coming in too from the opposite end um, make sure to plug these in and make sure the polarity is correct and this is pretty much the setup right here so all you need to do to safely charge it is turn on the power button on and now you can see that it's on. Uh, this iCharger 208B is a smart charger so it pretty much finds your um, battery voltage and changes it as such. So here we have LiPo balance charge. 16 amps, 11.1 .1 volts, 3S. Simply just hold it 
and then it will start. So what you can do is you can hold this button on the left. Oops, wrong button. I think it's this one. If you press it once, you can change your LiPo and change your settings. Press it another time, it goes to the amps, and you can actually lower the ampage, amperage down or l higher it. Um, the idea is to charge at 1C. Um, there are many calculators that you can actually use online that will tell you what 1C is. Uh, maybe I'll have another video or you can find it on the website on the actual formula to calculate 1C for your battery pack. So you just hold on to enter and basically it will power on and start charging. Um, it will gradually go up to the amps that you set it at, in this case 15. Then it tells you your entire pack voltage and you can toggle to see the voltage for each individual pack. So since they're in parallel, it only sees three as in parallel you would basically keep the same voltage and expand the capacity. So in our case, this is a 3S batteries. So we have three, 3S 5,000 milliamp hours. So that will translate into 3S because everything's in parallel and it's 5, 10, 15, and 20 milliamp hours. But that's pretty much how it is and it's pretty simple once you get it. It's not that difficult. So I basically just wait until 388 goes to about 4.10 uh, 4 volts. And once it's at 4.10 volts, I simply just stop it and um, use it as a full pack. I only charge to about 4.10 to extend the life of my batteries. Um, you can charge it all the way for to 4.2, but you tend to stress the batteries more and it will, usually won't last as long. But that's pretty much it for charging in parallel. Um, hope this was helpful. Thanks.